Let's solve a couple of questions on forces on current carrying conductors and magnetic fields. For the first one, we have a current of 0.2 amperes, which flows towards south in a straight conductor of length 0.1 meters. When a magnetic field B perpendicular to the current is turned on in the region, the conductor feels an upward force of magnitude 0.04 newtons. What are the characteristics? So we need to figure out the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field. And we can use this compass for reference. All right, pause the video and first try this question on your own. Now first let's focus on magnitude and for that we can ask ourselves what is the force on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field. That force is given by that force, the vector, this is equal to I, this is equal to I, I into L cross B into L, L cross L cross B. Okay. And if we think about the magnitude, the magnitude would be I L B sine theta. So that would be that would be I L B sine theta. And we can take the length vector in the direction of the current as like in all the cases we can take that we can take that to be true the length vector can be in the direction of the current always. So that means if magnetic field is perpendicular to the current, it's also perpendicular to the length vector. So that means sine theta, that will be one because theta is 90 degrees. So now when we plug in the values, we get 0 0.2 into length, which is 0 0.1 into the magnetic field which is what we need to figure out and the magnitude of force that is 0.04 so let's let's write that also okay now we can take 0.2 into 0.1 which will be 0.02 that will go to the left hand side and in the denominator and it will be 0.04 divided by 0.02 so b really comes out to be equal to b comes out to be equal to 0.02 tesla so this is 0.02. Now when you come to direction, we can use the Fleming's left hand rule. And that was that if we arrange the thumb, index finger and middle finger perpendicular to each other, then the thumb gave the direction of the force if the magnetic field is given by the index finger and the current, the direction of the current given by the middle finger. And these three are perpendicular to each other. Okay. And for this case, and for this case, we know the direction of the force. So we know this direction. We know the direction of the force and we know the direction of the current. So we also know the direction of the current that is south. We know this direction as well. We need to figure out the direction of the magnetic field. So now if we arrange the thumb and middle finger in the directions given, whichever direction the index finger is pointing to, that is the direction of the magnetic field. So the current is in the same direction as the displacement vector and all of them, they are always in the same direction and that is to the south. So pointing pointing the middle finger to the south that is that is in the downwards direction this direction and then pointing the thumb upwards so so really the thumb should be pointing towards you and if you're doing this at home or at school or wherever your your middle finger is pointing down and your thumb should be pointing really towards you and i'm i'm sure you will realize that i'm also doing it live that the index finger now is pointing to the east it's pointing to the to to the right and we our hand could look somewhat like this so this is this is the this is the current this is the current that is south and the force is pointing up this is the thumb the force is pointing force is pointing up so the magnetic field as a result of that the index finger pointing to to the east and you could rest your hand on a table just like the image on the screen uh, in that case in that case you see the thumb is really pointing up right towards the ceiling or the roof but if you lift your hand and if you try to arrange the fingers in the direction given then the thumb might be pointing towards you and that's okay your index finger is still pointing to the right correct so that's that's in the east direction this will be east Okay, let's look at one more question. Okay, here we have a one meter rod carrying three amperes current is which is placed in a uniform magnetic field and the magnetic field has a magnitude of five milli Tesla and the angle this angle theta is 30 degrees. Find the force acting on the rod and we need to figure out the magnitude and the direction of the force. This arrow represents the current direction which is which is going in this direction. All right. Now, again, just like in the previous question, let's start by writing what force is force on a current carrying conductor. 
So that force, that force really is given by I L cross P. And I'm now I'm writing everything with the same color. So I L cross B. To figure out the magnitude, we can just open the cross product and that will be I L B sine sine theta. Now here we know what I is, that is three. So we know this, we know length, this is a one meter rod. We know the magnetic field, right? Five milli tesla. There is also an angle given. Now this angle theta, this angle theta is always the angle between the length vector and the magnetic field vector. We can take the length vector in the same direction as the current. So this this could be this could be your length length vector, and the angle between the length vector and the magnetic field is really this angle, and this is 90 minus theta. This is 90 minus theta. Theta is 30. So 90 minus 30, that is 60. So sine 60 degrees. This will be then 3 into 1 into 5 milli tesla. So 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into root 3 by 2. And this is really, this is really 13 into 10 to the power minus 3 newtons. Now we need to report the answer in milli newtons. So we should have seen that first. We then wouldn't have to convert milli tesla to tesla, right? So, okay, this is then really just 13 milli newtons because one milli newton is equal to 10 to the power minus three newtons and now let's think about the direction so we need to figure out the direction of the force again we can use the fleming's left hand rule but the, here the rod is angled right it's angled with the magnetic field and whenever there are such cases we can try and resolve the the length component right so there will be the length vector really is at an angle there will be a vertical component there will be a horizontal component the horizontal component will really not give rise to any sort of force because that could be either in the same direction as the magnetic field just like in the case that you see or or in the opposite direction like the angle could be 0 or 180 in either case sine of that will be 0 so only only the component that is perpendicular to the magnetic field only that will give rise to some force and that will be this component in this case because the length vector is taken to be in this direction so if we do resolve it there will be a vertical component like this. So the horizontal component not playing any role. Let's ignore that. Let's only look at the vertical component. So here, if we arrange again uh, our, our left hand in the directions that are given to us. So we are taking this vector, considering this length vector, the only the vertical component. So FBI force is given by thumb. Magnetic field is index finger and current is the middle finger. Now, if we use the Fleming's left hand rule, we can we can arrange we can arrange the hand like this. This current is really going away from us. We can we can think of it as going away from us. We have the magnetic field lines which are to the right. So this is your index finger B. This is your current I and the force, the direction of the thumb. In this case, it's in a downward direction. So that is what that is what the direction is. Now we could imagine this rod lying in front of us on the table. And like if you do that, imagine you're looking at this rod from the top. So if you do that, then if you arrange your index finger, which is pointing to the right and your middle finger, which will really be pointing away from you, further away from you. So then you will realize that the thumb is pointing down, pointing inside the table or inside the desk. And that really means into the plane. So the direction of the force for this one is into the plane. Alright, you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson and if you're watching on YouTube, do check out the exercise link which is added in the description.